Yeah. Okay, so wait, where where are you now? I'm on the same street. And so at the very end of Ocean, yes. you're gonna see um, these two large apartment buildings on the right side. So um, basically what I what I feel is that um, we all are on the same team, the whole humanity. We're all on the same team. We all want everyone's joy. Everyone's joy is our joy, and our joy is everyone's joy. Some people are in tune with that, and some people don't know it yet, but it's the truth for everyone. When I say joy, I don't mean happiness. I mean what's, what feels right inside. And sometimes it means going through your deepest fear. So it's not happiness. It's really just doing what feels right. The, the problem is right now, there is kind of a misunderstanding um, in what we hear everywhere, where you have to be happy, 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 and we go towards, and be happy, don't worry, be happy, and ha happy life, and, and really, happy is linked to sadness in a way that is essential. Happiness and sadness cannot be separated. They're like two sides of one same coin. The way to get to our joy is actually to acknowledge the dark side of that duality to acknowledge the sadness, to acknowledge the anger that we might feel, to acknowledge the fears that we might feel, and to be with them, to let them be in us. And there's this kind of tyranny of happiness, of you have to be happy, and so we kind of um, uh, despise all the other emotions that are the spectrum of, of colorful emotions that we all have as humans. And we dis by despising them, they come back at us and they enslave us because we're not when we see them we are free from them and we can choose and we when we acknowledge the difficult emotions that go through us and not just the happiness and when we celebrate also the difficult emotions that go through us we give them space to be and we acknowledge all that we are and when we acknowledge all that we are and we accept all that we are as we are happy or sad, calm or angry, we find unconditional love. Unconditional love for ourselves and for the world. The world is a mirror of us anyway, that's a whole another conversation. Um, but so, and by acknowledging all that we are, we find that sweet spot that is joy. Joy is really accepting all that is. And accepting all that is, is not being happy all the time. And if you want to have the same emotion all the time, you just want to be a dead person. That's what a person said on a TED talk, and I can't remember her name right now, but uh, it's very interesting. Um, people want to be happy all the time, so you want to be dead? You want to just have one emotion? There's such a spectrum of colorful emotions to, to have, and it's very important to acknowledge every emotion that we go through, and to be with them and to let them out, and it's yeah, that's just, this society is kind of a tyranny because you're not allowed to sc scream loudly when you're feeling angry. You're not allowed to be afraid. It's, it's people come and want to want to calm you and want to they want to make your tears go away. No, let those tears flow and let that scream be yelled and just be because if you don't, it's just going to grow as a monster inside of you and consume you and enslave you. So happiness and sadness and calm and fear and everything has this dual opposite in this world you know and that's how you actually measure it that's how you see that it exists you could not you cannot tell oh i'm happy if you didn't know what sadness felt like you could not there's also the masculine and feminine which is very interesting that's the team work and we all have feminine and masculine energy inside of us um it's a, this perfect team between structure and creativity um between um between imagining and making it happen, um, between curves and straight lines. I mean, it's that eternal, perfect team that created the whole world. And there's also the duality between ego and divine. And what is beautiful is that the divine, when you, when you see that divinely beautiful sunset, that grace in someone dancing, or how a situation Synch the synchronicity of a situation just makes it happen perfectly when someone reaches out for something and right at that moment something falls from the sky and you know everything works perfectly 
that is divine, right? That's divinity. But it couldn't exist in this world without ego, without, without material creation, manifestation. And um, so those are two sides, two jewel sides that are perfectly working together. And the ego is not to be diminished. It is not to be abolished. It is not to be destroyed. The ego is beautiful until it enslaves us until we think that's that's all there is all i want is to get money no getting money is going to help me use that for the joy of everyone for the divinity for 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 that alignment that we all feel that that what is right for everyone it's when we use the ego as a tool to serve the divinity then magic happens when, when we get lost to the ego, then it can be dangerous. But the ego is a friend. It's actually a tool for us to create grace on this world, in this world.